Yeah, good afternoon, Ryan. It is still ongoing, as you heard from that interview with one of the FBI officials with Tom Yamas there. They can't go into the water right now. Fortunately, the rain has let up somewhat, but still, these conditions are just too dangerous for them to get in there and really start looking for those bodies. They have mentioned there are points of interest, but this is murky water. It is also very cold. It has been cold out here for these last uh, 24 hours now. And so the hope is that they will be able to go down there very soon. But obviously for the families, the heartbreak is just waiting on any kind of closure on whether or not their loved ones are going to be found. Still, though, we have seen those boats in the water, not helicopters today, again, because of that rain. But that was the scene yesterday when we saw those helicopters doing that search, hoping that everyone was hoping, of course, that there would be some positive news in this. But as this mission is now turned to recovery, it is now just a waiting game to see how soon those divers can get into that water for any indication of where these bodies might be. And George, you did speak with the family of one of those six. Uh, what did the family tell you? Yeah, so I just moments ago wrapped up an interview with the brother of Maynard Suazo. And I'll tell you, the interview was in Spanish, but in any language, you can understand the frustration and the heartbreak, the not knowing. I'm told that all of these family members are now reunited in a facility here in Baltimore, just awaiting word, awaiting any update on whether or not their loved one will be found. In Maynard's case, this family is hoping that they find the body so they can return him back to his native Honduras where he will be buried. He leaves behind an 18-year-old son and a six year old daughter so for them this is a very very emotional moment his brother who you see there on camera telling me his last moment with his brother was a hug a hug before he went off to work not knowing that that would be the last time that he would see him that he would speak with him they are definitely at a loss for words ryan thanks for watching stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the nbc news app or follow us on social media